dream, and you're fucking the girl missionary style, and your hands are on her hips, and then her hips start to get wider and wider, because it's a dream, and dreams are weird like that. And then you wake up and you just realize you're humping the shit out of your mattress? <laughs> but you feel like you still could fall asleep and back into the dream, so you can't stop? <laughs> I guess the question is, how long do you keep trying? <laughs> I wish that was the most awkward thing to happen to me. Today. <laughs> uh, I'm full of awkwardness. It's because I've got something called uh, ADHD. Does anybody else here have ADHD? It's okay. You're among friends. There's a difference between ADD and ADHD, though. ADD is the inability to concentrate. ADHD, that's the inability to let other people concentrate. <laughs> if you're looking on a classroom, there's a kid, he's distracted, he's watching a bird out the window. That kid has ADD. Now, if you widen the picture a little bit, there's another kid that's outside chasing the fucking bird. <laughs> that's ADHD. That's what I have to deal with. I'm also a quarter Asian. Those two things are unrelated, but, you know, ADHD. <laughs> quarter Asian, though. I'm one of those people that has to explain to other people just what race I am, though, because being a quarter Asian, that's just Asian enough to look half Mexican. <laughs> My father embraced it, though, because now he plays trumpet in a mariachi band. <laughs> da 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 Sayonara. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of jealous of black people, though, because what do they have? They have, once you go black, you never go back. What do I got? Once you go yellow, I'm your fellow. <laughs> when you go Asian, there's no other persuasion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if a girl said to me to like black people, and she said to have jungle fever, that sounds like fun. That sounds like a nightclub. I'd go to that place. But you know what? No one ever wants to get yellow fever. <laughs> Yellow fever, it'll keep you in bed for a week. Aww. With some nausea and some vomiting. <laughs> my brother's also got the corporation thing going for him, but uh, my brother has managed to overtake me in everything I've ever shown interest in, ever. Does anybody else here have sibling rivalry? <laughs> All right, at least you guys can admit it. See, I'd be okay with him overtaking me, except that he is eight years younger than me. <laughs> I feel like I cheated at a race, but I'm still losing. <laughs> I'll give you an example of that. I was in choir in high school. He is now going to the Hart School of Music on a vocal scholarship. Mm. <laughs> I was on the swim team. He joined swim team, and then he joined wrestling and became MVP in both. Now I can't take him in land or in water. <laughs> I'm 5'6". He's 5'6 and a half. <laughs> I'm single, he's single, but he's able to enjoy it. <laughs> so I was trying to talk to my mother about how insecure this made me, and she says to me, oh no, no, some good stuff came from you being born. Great, Ma, thank you, uh, please, enlighten me, like, like what? Well, um, oh yeah, I married your father. <laughs> but, Mom, you divorced him 12 years later. Yes, but in the meantime, we had your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker owes me his life. Thank you guys. I'm Rick Shot Tom. <laughs>